Chris from VitaminCM.com and today we're going to talk about using Zoho applications to create an integrated online office suite. When you go to Zoho.com you'll notice they have a number of applications available. So there's email, uh, word processor, spreadsheets, presentation tools, then there's a document manager, you have notebooks, you can create a, a wiki if you want, planning software, uh, if you notice there's some business applications, some of these you have to pay to use, some of them have limited use, but there's tons of different applications available. So what I'm going to do is sign in. When you sign in you'll notice they have a pretty nice interface so it signs you into mail initially. I don't really use the email, I prefer Gmail, but you can see there's uh, folders just like you'd see in any email application. They have a calendar application where you can put appointments on, things like that documents if you want to look at any of your saved documents that you have in the system you can create documents here you can upload documents from your computer there's even a nice Microsoft Office plugin so you can just send documents directly from Microsoft Office to your Zoho account desktop uh, writer so if you go to writer it will be creating a word processing document and you can see they have a nice interface full of uh, options, pretty typical, similar to Word or OpenOffice or Google Documents, whatever you prefer. So there's a number of really great applications built in. But what is even more impressive is the fact that you can plug different applications, third-party applications, directly into this interface. So let's say instead of using their mail program, I wanted to use Gmail or Google Calendar or something. I could click here and it would load Google Calendar right into the interface or I could click again and load in uh, for instance my instant messaging software so I'm using Mebo online and it loads up the instant messaging software right up into the middle of their interface if I wanted to use say Twitter I could just click that and it will pull up Twitter right into the interface I could just sign in and start using it so if I want to add an extra application, I just go down to this Add Apps button, give a title for my application. So I'm going to add in Evernote because I like that as opposed to Zoho's note-taking application. So I'll type the title of the application. I'll paste in the URL. If I want to choose an icon, I can. I'll just click OK and accept the one they give me. And that's it you'll see it says successfully added so if I click more and then I select Evernote it loads Evernote in the middle of the application and I have all my information there and I could just as easily then click to something else like spreadsheet and load that up you can also hide the navigator bar so just click that click it again and bring it back so that's how you would be able to use the Zoho Office Suite to have all their applications as well as any other applications.